The Rickery were only together for about four years before we blew ourselves up. Coming back together after 35 years, well, this new album was a real joy to make. It was great to see everyone again and feel some of that old magic in the room. In fact, a lot of it really made the hair stand up on the back of my neck. The recording was done at Sound Park in Melbourne, basically as a, as a live band, and we were still fine tuning the arrangements in the studio. There was an, an emphasis on capturing everything, like in the moment. It has a kind of lo fi honesty about it, which um, I really like. The songs on this album were very much written for the record or at least for a 21st century version of the record, staying close to its rock roots and keeping that kind of dark sense of humour. I think um, we're all surprised by how this record fits with what we did 35 years ago. Incredibly fast, um, doing an album, nine songs in four days. We're a lot better at, better musicians than we were, you know, in the 80s, one would hope anyway. We do still tend to play in the uh, in the deep dark end of the pool, though, so that side of things hasn't changed so much. Fake is forever. Sometimes it seems ironically that everything that is plastic and fake will last for all of techno eternity. And yet, what is real and valuable is transient and short-lived like happiness like us human beings. So I guess Fake is Forever is a protest title, swimming against the tide, just like the record always did.